Hello, this is John from Lockdown Design. Today we're answering a viewer question, and this is a good question. In the Google three pack maps on the first page of Google results, why do competitors that do not have a website rank above me? If any of you have ever done a local search for a business in your area, no matter what city you're in, usually if you do a local search for a business, you'll see at the very top of the first page of results, you'll see a three pack map, what we call the three pack. And it's a map result with the top three uh, results of local businesses. What goes into the three pack, there's three factors that go into that, location, relevancy, and authority. And those uh, three factors boil down to location, how close are you to the actual cluster of businesses that are showing in the map? Relevancy would be would be like how closely do the words that you typed into Google match what you're actually searching for in the businesses that are there? Third, authority, how prominent those brands are. So most of the time, the three businesses that you're going to see there are going to have websites. Very rarely, but you know, every once in a while you'll see one of the results in the three pack map will not have a website. It'll just be a business and it'll have a button to call them, but it won't actually have a link to the website because they don't have a website. Now, the question is, why does this occur? So the first thing that we need to understand is Google is really trying to give us the best information possible to satisfy the searcher intent. So let's say you're, you're Googling for three CNC manufacturers in your area. And let's say that only two of those results in the map have a website and the third one doesn't have a website. Your intention is to find a CNC manufacturer to produce your product. And so Google is giving you that information uh, irregardless of if the third one has a website or not. Now, like I said, this doesn't happen very often because most places have a website. You do see it very occasionally where a uh, result in the map will come up and they don't have a website. Obviously, they're not gonna be in the results below that because they don't have a website and you gotta have something to click on. But why is Google putting that there? Where is Google getting this information from? So Google doesn't necessarily have to have the information directly from your website to know that your business is located somewhere on a map. It can access all kinds of information from around the web, such as, you know, business license information, uh, LLC or incorporation. You know, if you have a Facebook page, it can definitely get that information from there. City records, uh, leasing information, and dozens of websites that, that have that information there anytime that you open a business. Uh, it kind of creates a virtual paper trail, if you will. Google is moving more toward collecting information about entities rather than websites. So for example, if Google knows that you have a company, it's going to use a bunch of different sources of information to create what's called a knowledge graph around your company. What the knowledge graph is, if you Google for your business name and the address, sometimes on the desktop version, you'll see on the right hand side, you'll see that actual knowledge graph about your business. It'll have your business name, your hours of operation, your phone number, those sorts of things. So Google is basically compiling a, an entity graph, a knowledge graph about all sorts of different things, such as you know famous people, places, and of course, local businesses. So Google is basically processing this data and saying this is, you know, this is the company that's here. This is the reason why very occasionally you'll see when you Google for a local business in the three pack map, every once in a while you'll see a result there where they don't have a website and you'll just see a button to, to call them directly and there won't be that second button to go to their website. But should you have a website? Absolutely. It's, it's really tough to do business in the 21st century without a website. You're gonna be left behind by anybody who is investing in a website. So if you have a SEO question that you'd like answered, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. My name's John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design. We help manufacturers and industrial companies with SEO. <clears throat> um, but yeah, there are some throwback people that don't have a website yet. So uh, more power to them. Woohoo!